Alright guys, so we are at the airport once again. Um, what a long, 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 long adventure this has been. A huge adventure. But, so we on to the next one right now. We're here now in Oklahoma. Still, we just got to the airport. I had to charge all my batteries up. So, we didn't get anything for the morning, but it's all good because we on to another Vlog Express today. We are doing a lot of connecting flights today. And <clears throat> within these connecting flights, today's vlog is all about strategies for last minute traveling. So last, all right. So that brings us to number one, comparing fares, all right? Comparing fares. Never, never, never just go to one website to get the last deal on it, I would say. So for instance, most people like to go to, for instance, I'm flying on Southwest today. So pretty much they go to Southwest, buy a ticket, purchase it. No, wrong deal. Best thing to do, at least go to two different places. So you go to, I would say, Google Flights, because that's one of my favorite. Um, Cheaptickets.com, second best for it, because they got me a $90 ticket to Miami for about eight to nine days. And um, <clears throat> so I use about three different, oh, and skip lag. That one right there is pretty cool, but those flights change up and now you gotta pay real attention to what the directions is talking about in skip lag. But that one is cool too, so those are the top three. Um, so go to each one, see what they say about a ticket. Sometimes there's about the same range, but of course the range usually means that you wanna pay the lower end and um, just go for it. So do know though, within the last minute deals, I mean, you can get a really good deal, or you get a okay deal. I like the really good deal. So it's worth the search, take the little extra time out, and be good to go. That was number one. On to the next. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm the only person on the plane here. I will do a little transition thing. We're doing a connecting flight in... Uh, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Alright, so that leads me to the next thing on our list is, well, looking for cheap cities to fly, right? Uh, within that, looking for those particular destinations, it's pretty cool. So I know I mentioned this something sort of like this on one of my last uh, videos from earlier, which is pretty much for instance. So I'm going down to Virginia, uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Well, Norfolk is not the cheapest airline. I mean, a cheapest airport to fly into. So you'll probably find to some place similar to like Richmond. Richmond for some reason, is, well that is the capital. So that heck, just like a hundred dollars to like sometimes two hundred dollars. Rare. Even often it's almost like $300 cheaper depending if you go into those international flights, right? So, um, so that's one good example. Also, like I always like to go down to Florida. Um, Miami is a fairly cheap airport, but for some reason, Fort Lauderdale just above 45 minutes to like 30 minutes away from Miami, I think it'll be extremely cheap. So that's something good to consider. So consider cheap airports to fly to rather than those big major cities airport and um, definitely get a bank cable right there. Right. Have a good one. Alright man, take it easy. Uh, Alright man, so we're finally here in Chicago. Thanks. Uh, man, that was a long trip from Denver. The attendant, the flight attendant, a trip. Come here, get something to eat, sit on, relax for a little bit. Not scheduled to be in until midnight tonight. It's still daylight outside, so we got good way. <laughs> So if you have more than two items, you must this time, right. otherwise... This has been a long, long, long day. Time. Um, so I was telling you guys in the restaurants about our, uh, about delayed trips. So like, if you want to travel in the summertime, the prices would be higher than it is if you could possibly wait until the end of summer, like August into September. So when the, so when the prices drop, 
That way, of course, you, you know, you can get to save a little bit of money. And you still get to go to the place that you want to go. But it won't be in the summertime like that. Hot, hot summer. Um, do know that during holidays, the prices do increase. You know, so that around Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving. Wrong them times there. It's going to increase. But after those holidays, then, um, it'll be right back. Done again for a good price and everything. Uh, we are talking about, like I said, those last minute deals and things. Check. All right, so um, I gotta go to the other side because the lady needs to check me in on this standby flight. When you get on board, please quickly choose your spot. Step They're trying to rush us in here to go on the next flight, but I'm gonna try to get this next information and see you guys to save this next flight. Any questions? Go all the way back to get to Virginia. It's all good to go. Cheap days to fly. Want to know all about the good cheap days to fly? We don't want to fly on a Friday or a Saturday because guess what? People gotta be placed at those days. Things happen on those. Those are happening days. It's expensive, okay? So the best days that you probably do want to fly, of course, try about a Tuesday and a Wednesday in the middle of the week. So those Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly Thursdays, um, those are great times to fly, uh, fly out and returning uh, on those particular days. And safe. so auto, it do changes, right? This Once is again, in a gate area, lady one. She keep on talking one. Um, like I said, but those usually those days are usually the the, uh, the days of the week that you do want to fly and don't want to fly. Today is a Monday, as you guys can see. I've been traveling all day, and oh gosh, man, like. But my situation is a whole different story, and uh, we'll come back with you guys when we come back down there in Virginia or someplace on the thing, alright? Because I only get I get two more things to tell y'all, and I don't want everything to go dead on aisle, alright? What? I got my tell me how to book on my nose, man. All right, you guys. So, focus. All right, guys. So, I made it back finally here to Virginia, and got a little battery because I charged it up a little bit when I was at the airport because we had a little delay. Um, the last tip, once again, is uh, last tip, once again, is to be flexible for flying. So you know they have that little icon on the bottom when you select your date say for instance you want to travel from let's just say tuesday to friday and they say well do, I, do you have um it's say flexible and you could push it for like either three days before or like three days after or whatever that's an important icon because pushing that delay you they don't choose they don't, they don't find the the reasonable or shorter um savings for that particular trip and sometimes it, it lets you go like a day before early or come back a day later for a cheaper price or they select a different airport as we mentioned earlier uh you're choosing a different airport uh, to find you a lower price so uh, so just be mindful of that and you could definitely save a lot of money again so you know this is your boy Ross books always willing to save you guys that little change or check because you can always use it for something else good on the vacation like a good old rum punch or some wings or just man a uber <laughs> you know what i mean oh a long journey wow so hey man Alright man, this is your boy Ross Books live in the building one tank for the one tank count cool count quench. Hey, log your notes, make sure I'm on share it, like it, subscribe. Hey, back for another journey once again. Check you guys on the flip side. You see me set. Don't know where we're gonna go. Up, 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 across, left, right, who knows where we go. Uh once it put down in the comment below if you wanna if you want me to come to your town, to your country, to your city. Whatever it is, check, check out, man. <laughs>